Hey guys, this video is going to be about painting a motorcycle gas tank. Uh, this tank's off of a 1972 Honda CB350. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is strip off the existing paint. So to do that, we're going to use uh, a normal paint stripper you can get at any uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, be careful with it. You don't want to get it on your skin because it'll burn. Uh, but just be careful. Use gloves and you should be good. So we're going to need a paintbrush and put the paint stripper in a container and then just brush it on. And it'll take a little while for it to work but it'll be pretty obvious once it does because the paint will start to lift up off the metal. And we're going to want to continue to do this until the entire tank is covered in paint stripper and then wait about five to ten minutes. As you can see, after not a whole lot of time, the paint starts to lift up pretty quickly. At this point, you're going to want to get a paint scraper or anything with a flat edge and just start to remove some of this loose paint. And now we just want to continue this process of applying the paint stripper and stripping off the loose paint until all the paint's removed. At this point we've removed all the paint off of the tank and we're going to get some sandpaper. Uh, I want to get medium to fine grit sandpaper and just sand the whole surface to prepare it for paint. It'll just rough it up a little bit so the paint will adhere better and just even out the whole surface. Once you've sanded it down you want to wipe off the what comes up when you sand. Make sure that doesn't get caught in the paint when you go to paint. So just go over it thoroughly and you might want to even get a compressed air and blow out all the different areas just to make sure you get all the, and that's not dust, but it looks like dust up so it doesn't get stuck in the paint. So that would be counterproductive to sanding. So just make sure you go over it a few times, blow it out with some air, and then after that we should be ready to paint. So we're going to start off with a primer, as you can see here. Uh, you definitely want to start off with a layer of primer, just to help the next layers of paint stick better and just better overall. Now we're ready to put on the next coat. Alright, so now we're ready to put on our first layer of paint. Uh, we're going to paint it red. Uh, so, we'll see how it goes. So we finished our first layer, and uh, now we're going to wait about 10 minutes, then we'll put on another layer. Alright, so now we're going to put on our next uh, layer of paint. Once we've applied the number of coats that we want to paint, we're going to use a acrylic clear coat enamel uh, just to help protect the paint and just makes everything look better.